thank you for calling Garner Trucking, proudly recognized as 2022's best fleet to drive for overall small carrier. Welcome back, everybody, to the Recorder Call Channel, where we make the call for you. Today's call, we're going to be looking at Garner Trucking out of Ohio. Good morning. How you doing today? I'm doing real good. How are you doing? All right, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm 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 driving and I I'm I'm behind one of you guys trucks and it says one of the mm-hmm. one, one of these signs that says uh I can't tell like 20 either 21 or 22 best fleet to drive for. So that kind of intrigued me. Um, I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about that. What, what is that, and what makes you guys the best fleet to drive for? So it is actually broke down in a couple different categories. Um, just like where we where we stand for pay, our benefits. Um, they do a, a survey. And it's anonymous and like 30% of the fleet takes a survey and based on the information they gather, because we have to go through a couple interview processes with the the people who started the best fleet to drive for. We, we do a couple different interviews. They check to see what different programs we have for drivers. And then, yeah, they do a survey of our fleet. Um, they like it to be at least 30%, but of course we shoot for more. And then based on what those surveys say, that helps as well for us to be able to win that. We have been nominated again this year, too, so we're pretty excited. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not so that this you can is... pay for anything, you know? Yeah. Okay, so this is like uh, an independent company that that just started for, for trucking companies to help us truck drivers uh, help us out along our decision to see if what company is best for right, us. Right, yeah, much. yeah, because you can look up the best fleets and they'll have, you know, it'll be a list of the different companies that have won the award and uh, Okay. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so no, I, I understand. <laughs> okay, um, okay, so okay, you, you guys are out of Ohio. How far are you guys from Cleveland? Cleveland, we're about two hours. Okay. Give so, or take, just depending. Um, and you can park in your own area during your home time. Okay, too. that that was gonna be one of my questions. Okay, so how much <laughs> how much experience you guys are looking for? We actually don't require any experience. We do have a select number of slots for like recent graduates or those who don't have any experience um, this year, but we do hire, we do hire uh, those who don't have experience. Um, if you have three months or more of experience, you don't have to take our training program. Okay, cool. Very good. Uh, do you guys, by the sounds of it, do you guys have a school or do you guys offer a school for drivers that don't have their CDLs? Unfortunately, we do not. We are a smaller company. We only have about 90 drivers total. Um, So we don't have a school to help drivers obtain their Class A, but we do have that training program for those that get it. And then, you know, a lot of companies require a year or so of experience. How do you get that? (laughs) Somebody gives you a job, right? Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. what, what What are you guys lanes and do you guys run Canada? We do not go to Canada, and we go up to North Dakota, down to Arkansas, over to Maryland, and then we do go into the state of New York, but we do not haul anything in or out of New York City. Okay, okay. So you guys do do the Northeast. Is that is that Force Dispatch? Yes, yes, it is. Um, but Dispatch will always look for the closest load to you um okay. okay that makes the most sense because drivers get paid whether they are loaded or empty 
And of course, the company does not get paid whether they are loaded or empty. Gotcha. Awesome. Uh, what about what, what about if I come in for uh, pre-employment drug screening? Is it hair follicles or urine or both? We do. We only do the DOT required urine analyst. Oh, okay, cool, awesome. Because some sometimes because that's, even if you do the other one, they still require you to do the urine analyst. So why pay for both? You know what I yeah. mean? <laughs> it, plus, it's also a deal breaker <laughs> for for some of us out here. Um, okay, so you mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you I get it for sure. Yeah. You you mentioned uh uh pay. Uh you know, that's why one of you guys was considered uh for the award. So what is the uh mileage pay for a driver of my status? I've been driving for seven years. Okay, so can I put you on a quick hold? I'm actually not at my desk and I need to grab my folder real quick. Oh, okay, awesome. All right, I'm back. Thank you for holding. Thank you. Yeah, my computer uh, started being crazy, so I had to call the IT guy, and I went at my desk, so I wanted to grab this stuff real quick. All right, so um, I will let you know that we are 53-foot dry van only, and we do 100% no-touch freight and about 75% drop and hook. Mm-hmm. Um, you've been driving for a while, so you know drove drive-ins on the lower end of pay for BDL positions. So I don't yes, want, ma'am. want you to be <laughs> expected a whole, whole lot. Okay. So um, here at Garner, you could earn up to 61 cents per mile and it breaks down to a 54 cent per mile base rate with a two cent per mile safety and performance bonus. And that is paid out weekly. So as long as you're being safe and on time, that is on there. And about 95% of our fleet does have that weekly on their pay. If you have your hazmat, it gives you a cent per mile, but we do not require any endorsement. And then after one month of driving with us, you're eligible for our driver reward program, and you can earn up to four cents per mile. Average weekly pay is between 1200 and 1500 a week. Okay. Okay. Sounds over resort, <laughs> over resort, you know, overload. But uh, but basically, it's it's fifty. How much? Fifty. The base rate is the fifty four, and then four. Okay. With oh. the safety and performance, and yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically, it's uh fifty four, and everything else is pretty much a bonus after that. Okay. Um. All right. So that's something to consider um how much it is under review too so <laughs> oh okay okay i'm okay. trying to tell them we need to we need to get that together but you know gotcha. i'm doing what i can <laughs> gotcha now as i'm as i'm behind uh as i'm behind your truck as a matter of fact i'm still behind your truck i'm going down on 40 um what are what what are the what are the uh, equipments that we'll be driving and what are they governing that? So they are Freightliner Cascadias and they range from 2020s to 2023s. Um, they have the APU inverter, refrigerator, there's the TV mount, company paid Sirius XM radio, and then the bottom bunk converts into a diner in case you want to sit at a table for meals or anything and then they are governed at 65 miles per hour okay okay after your experience so after six months we have a passing advantage program and then you can go up to 68 miles per hour for 30 minutes a day uh wait huh (laughs) run that by me again (laughs) after okay so since you're experienced once you were here Yes, um, ma'am. At Garner, if you were to come on and then you work six months and you're safe, you know, no accidents or anything, you would be eligible for the passing advantage program. So then that allows you to go up to 68 miles per hour in case you need to get around someone um, for 30 minutes per day. Uh, okay. I'm okay. Mind my confusion here, but um, okay. So it's a program. That I, you know, after I've been there for for a little bit, and I only get 
I only get the extra boost for only 30 minutes a day? Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know we drive 11 hours a day, right? <laughs> I am, I know. I know. I, I mean, we pass, yeah. we, we pass trucks on a daily. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I I understand. I really do. <laughs> if I could make all the rules, I would. Okay, okay. Uh, well, thank <laughs> you for that. Uh, you you told me all the amenities that comes into the truck, so thank you for that. What about driver cameras, though? Yeah, so there is a driver facing camera, but it cannot see your bunk area, and it's triggered. Um, like if you erratically change lanes or anything like that all right it's not just watching and recording all the time <laughs> all right now you did mention that you was a small carrier uh so do you guys offer mm -hmm. any type of leases or anything or no at this time we do not have a lease purchase program um it is something that they're looking into but right now no we don't have that set up how's my home time All of our schedules have weekly home time, um, and then we have a couple different options. We have our five to six days out uh, with 34 to 48 hours of home time, and then we also have our five-day schedules. Right now, there's openings on our Sunday through Thursday with Friday and Saturday off or Tuesday through Saturday with Sunday and Monday off. And then we have a four on, four off schedule. <clears throat> and that one rotates throughout the year. Excuse me. So you would leave one day later this week than you left the week before. Okay. Okay. Uh, pet and rider policy. And how young can I bring my rider? So for the passenger policy, um, you, they would have to be 18 years or older and they can ride with you for up to one week out of a calendar month. And then did you ask about the pet policy too? Y yes, ma'am. Okay, I wasn't sure if I heard that turn the phone up. Um, we actually just got a new pet policy in October. So now you can have a dog up to 50 pounds, um, well-behaved and potty trained. And then there's like a form you have to turn into HR and. But yeah, so and it, but it does have to be a dog if it's a pet. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, well, thank you. Um, interesting. Uh, considering you know I've been driving you have out great here. Great question. <laughs> oh, thank you. I I've been driving out here for you know for a while, so I'm able to generate uh the common questions and questions that I'm interested in and mm -hmm. and and base my you know my assessment. Uh. Considering the fact that, you know, I'm an experienced driver, I think everything that was that was set forth is more geared towards, you know, drivers that that's coming into the industry. No disrespect. No disrespect. I mean, you know, it's all right. yeah, considering yeah. how much I'm making, how, how much I'm making now and how much I would lose if I decide to come over. I mean. You know, with the trucks being governed the way they are, and how much you guys offering to pay, and everything. But I, I definitely appreciate the, um, the, the, the conversation, and I, I will pass this on uh, to other drivers because I, I have a network of drivers that, uh, that I, that I talk to on a awesome. daily. Um, do you guys accept SAP drivers? They have to have completed the program at least five years uh before we're able to bring them on okay okay and what about uh what what, yeah. a, what about any sign-on bonus or anything like that we do not currently offer a sign-on bonus no okay we do have like a referral program though so <laughs> drivers I, can't earn some money that way how that work like I mean, it, let's just say that I was to actually come on, and I and like I said, I do got a bit, a bit network. How 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 would that paid out if let's just say I I was to come on and and refer you guys? 
Okay, so it does break down like we have these referral cards that we give to our drivers and they can take them out with them if they turn in um, the part of it that has the other driver's information on it they get $25 um, automatically whether they apply answer the phone don't they get that automatically and then there are different it's different tiers for an experienced driver versus like a newer driver um, but you get a certain amount. My, my computer's still down, so I can't give oh, no. you the exact amount. No, that's that's that you cool. Get. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that that's cool. I <laughs> yeah, mean, you I'm can so ballpark sorry. it. But, okay, so like for um a new like a student driver that's going to need to go through training, if they apply, you get so much money. But if they're experienced, you get like fifty dollars more than for a newer driver. And that, so each tier, they send in their information, they get a certain amount. The driver applies, they get a certain amount. Uh, if the driver's hired, they get a certain amount. <clears throat> but it is quite a bit. I wish my computer wasn't broke down because I would love to tell you those exact amounts. I'm trying to see if I have it in my notebook that I just happen to have in front of me. I don't think so. Who oh, no. knew? So, no, I don't have it. <laughs> if you uh, wanted, excuse me, I could write down <laughs> your name and number and give you a call back. <laughs> no, 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 that, that's quite all right. That's that's quite all right. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really do appreciate the uh, the time that you're giving me. Thank you very much, man. I, like I said, I think this is some good information that I can pass on to some of my newer driver friends that just came into the Facebook mm -hmm. group. So I can definitely uh, pass that on to them. Uh, unfortunately for me, uh, yeah, considering my experience and where I'm at right now, I mean, uh, you know, maybe, may, maybe as a backup, you know, but I, I don't expect anything to happen to me. <laughs> so, right, but, right, right. Yeah, no, no. We understand we're not going to be a good fit for everybody. That's why I appreciate your questions because, you know, you knew exactly what you wanted to know. And that's awesome. So I appreciate you waking me up this morning. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, like I said, I will pass the information to along uh to to my guys in the facebook group and uh and hopefully uh hopefully that'll work out because i know a lot of guys from ohio so uh they coming out okay, of awesome. they, well, they coming you. out we of appreciate school that. So, you're very welcome ma'am so thank mm -hmm. you very much you have a blessed evening or day yeah day thank you you too all, all right, right. <laughs> all right <laughs> All right, there you have it, Gardner. Gardner, I'm Garner. <laughs> Garner Trucking out of Ohio. Unfortunately, I can't give you the specific place where they're out of, but they are out of Ohio, a small trucking company, about 90 drivers that works there. They are 2022 fleet to drive for, small fleet to drive for. That's a... Uh, that's a big accomplishment uh, by the by the award company that's that's awarding companies. You 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 guys seen that best fleet to drive for? You know, Prime won it, uh, uh, and a couple of other mega carriers won that award as well. Um, experienced drivers, I I'm I'm. I mean, if you're an experienced driver and you just want something uh, on a smaller scale uh, and you like live in Ohio or something like that, I would say this company is for you. But for experienced drivers, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty years in the game, I, I, I don't know if this company is gonna is is your cup of tea. I don't know. I mean, the starting rate is in the 50s, about 51, 52, something like that. But you can you can average up to 61 cent a mile. Uh, the trucks are painfully governed at 65. 
and you can only go 68 for 30 minutes a day. And that's only to pass another truck. So if it takes you 30 minutes uh, to pass that truck, then your 30 minutes is up and you and you won't be able to pass no trucks. I I never understood that. I mean, I, I, I talked to another company that that says that they give you a little speed boost just to pass and you only have like a couple of minutes a day. I, I, I don't understand that. I mean, I guess I guess for safety state, but I to be honest, let, let's be honest. I, I really think that's much of a of a hindrance than anything. Um, let us drive. Let us drive. Let us drive the truck. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with the govern. I mean, if you're going to govern at 65, cool. I don't have a problem with that. But if you're going to put a little speed boost, just, just so we can pass, I, I, I honestly don't think that we need that. If you, if you just say, give us the 68, just give us the 68. That's it. Give us the 68 and just let us drive. That's all that's about. Okay, so that would be one of the deal breakers. Another uh, deal breaker um, is the camera. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like cameras in the trucks. I mean... I know you I know you guys don't have a problem with camp outward facing cameras, but you know, you got inward facing cameras, and she did say that it don't face the bunk, but how would it not face the bunk if it's in the middle of the windshield? Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. But uh, of course, that's another deal breaker. Again, like I said, the 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 speed governing and the speed boost is another deal breaker. So, uh, and last but not least, I think another deal breaker will probably be the Northeast and being forced dispatch. So, Gardner sounds like a great starting company. Uh, if you have three, if you have three months or more. You're able to get in. So if you one of them drivers that get your licenses from uh, other trucking companies like Swift, um, uh, CR England, and those companies like that, you know, if y'all didn't like them, then maybe Gartner, Gartner, Gartner would be that trucking company for you. Give them a call. Get them a call. Great conversation. Light, nice, nice young lady re, uh, recruiter. Nice young lady recruiter. Nice young lady recruiter. Let them know that you heard it here on the Recruiter Call Channel. Who's next? Who's next?